Hello folks, this gentleman here is Adolf Galahand. He's the um, pilot of the aircraft that I've just recently finished building. Um, this is the photo gallery or diary of his career. There's a picture of one of his one of his early aircraft. There he is meeting Adolf Hitler. Also there he is meeting the rest of the uh, forces. If you wish to read that information, pause the video. Um, that's not his aircraft, that was just 109. It was based at the same airfield um, that crashed. That's the radio um, operator. But there's, there's that gentleman again, Adolf Gallahand. He's sitting in his chair having a smoke and a cigar. There he is again also, he become a leader, or um, flight squadron leader. Um, he survived the end of the war. Um, he uh, flew the 109, and uh, then went on to doing the 262 and stuff. Um, as I say, he survived the war, he um, wasn't killed. There he is. Talking to his rest of his uh, crew without having his squad. There's some pictures of him getting in one of his aircraft. Um, that's another aircraft that crashed, but it wasn't his. But there, there he is again. That's one of his uh, squadron's aircraft, not his aircraft, but that's one of his squadron's aircraft. On the, that is in his squad. Same aircraft again, one of his aircraft that is in his squad. Some more photos and information on his, on his squad. A little bit of information if you wish to read that again. Memorial and some pictures. There's Adolf again, Galahand, with one of his crew members talking about a dog fight, probably. And there's Adolf Galahand. If you wish to uh, read about his career, pause this section. Um, and obviously the two other guys next to him is, is our other leaders. But I will just scroll up, try and go slowly. Just about his career. He mentioned down the bottom there. He had a hundred victories to his name. The last six. In April 1945, he flew the ME262 with the JV44. So, he, like I mentioned, he survived the war. I finished the kit from Pegasus Hobbies, 148 scale BF109E4. The markings on this aircraft is Adolf Galahand, and this is his aircraft. Take a look. Alrighty folks, I'm starting this new kit from Pegasus, the uh, BF109E4, it's the, uh, one of the Battle of Britain aircraft that took part against on the German side. Um, the uh, interior cockpit was done in this RML2, which is like a light brown grey colour, um, so 
to, I've snapped the wings together. I have used glue, even though the kit says you don't need to, but I am going to use glue just to strengthen it up. It's all painted and chipped and weathered. This room panel is done dry brushing because there's no decals. The only aftermarket I'm going to be using is seat belts, which I've got spare. But it's, as I can say, it's going to be straight out of the box. The next step will be putting this together, and I'll catch you in when I've done that. Right, folks, the uh, aircraft's all put together now. Um, all the inside is done with the uh, spare seat belts I had spare. You got a little bit of seam line around there, and there's a tiny gap there, but I'm not worried about that. It's gone together so well. For a snap together kit, this has gone together really, really well. I was surprised. Um, wings yet to go on, canopy, do the propeller, mask it up, paint it, um, and that'll be my next step. Um, I'm going to say, if you want a quick build, I highly recommend this kit together so quickly and this detail is good for you for the price it is I uh, paid for it for these kits are pretty good they are good I'll catch you in when it's painted folks the aircraft is all painted now and it's a uh, splinter camouflage and the first time we'll be doing the modern lily there's a uh, freehand spraying which on the side of the aircraft which is done in the green and the mottling which is done in the, the other shade of light greeny brown colour um, I've had to do the aircraft with the wheels up, um, I've misplaced the other set of wheels that come with it which allows you to have the wheels down. Um, I've got one set, one where one of them, but I'm missing the other side. Um, so this is where I'm currently at. Uh, I will show the underside, um, but the aircraft is currently uh, in a gloss coat on top at the moment so as soon as it's dry I'll flip it over. This is the BF109 from Pegasus Hobbies. This is all finished now. The kit went together so well. It's um, surprisingly scary that the kit's only a snap together. Um, the result that come out of this kit from being only a snap together kit is really, really good. I highly recommend this kit to go out and buy one. This is my result of how my 109 has come out. The propeller spins. I put the landing gear up so it looks like it's in flying. Um, I was going to have the landing gear down unfortunately I misplaced one of the landing gear pieces and I don't know where I put it so I've had to do it with gear, uh, landing gear up. If I can find it I can Swap the pieces out because, like I mentioned before, it snapped together, so I can just pull the pull the wheels out, like the landing gear. I will show you the underside. Here's the underside of the aircraft. Like I mentioned, these wheels just pop out. And I can replace them if I find the other landing gear piece that I'm missing. And like I mentioned. With the spinning propeller. 